Hello YouTubers, I am Dweather Dude. I'm sorry I've been away for the past couple of days, but I'm anxious to get this weather presentation started. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, we're going to start off with potentially our first major winter storm for the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. A widespread one inch plus of snow from West Virginia up to Maine is from PivotalWeather.com. This is total snowfall for the next three days. So from now till about Friday evening-ish, but by Friday evening, it's going to change your rain. I'll get to that in a minute. But one to four inches of snow from northern Delaware to western New Jersey, a little bullseye there. And six inches plus from northern Pennsylvania up to Maine. And all, again, all totals are for the next three days. Now, that was PivotalWeather.com for the GFS model. TropicalTidbits.com GFS model suggests maybe three to seven inches from the Delaware Valley. Six inches plus from southern Virginia up to Maine. And little speckles of... 8 to 12 plus from Northern Virginia to New York. Um, again, all snowfall totals here or also for the next three days. So, this is first snow for Northeast Mid Atlantic continued. As you can see, this is the current snow cover. I see a lot of the country has at least an inch or two or three, including the New England area, the plains, Northern Plains, Southern Plains, and even a little bit of the Rockies. And this is the snowfall for the next two days, you see. From Philly, maybe even northwestern suburbs of D.C. You can see one to three inches of snow. But right in south central Pennsylvania, you can see five or six, maybe even seven. And then east of that, it's basically three to six inches of snow. So now we're going to switch over to California fire outbreak. Um, it has improved, but it's not gone. The fire danger is still critical around the Los Angeles area. There is no extreme still for day two, but... It is still there nonetheless. As for tomorrow, for today, the extreme threat still stays there. So you can notice a little bit of an improvement, but the fire danger still remains there for Southern California. But Northern California, there's no fire danger. That's where the campfire is, so hopefully, and it will improve there. So here it is, California fire outbreak continue. Barely a tenth of an inch of precip for California the next seven days, if that. But in the east, you get this this train of moisture, one to two inches plus, in the next seven days. All these totals are in the next seven days. Climate Prediction Center continued. California fire outbreak. There is good news. 50 to 60 percent chance of wetter conditions for the next six to ten days, from the 19th to the 23rd, right around Thanksgiving time. And also, there's a 40 to 50 percent chance of wetter conditions for the 21st to the 27th. So conditions will improve. For California, like I said in my earlier videos, it will moderate as we head through November. You can see that's how the pattern is shaping out. Real quick, Southern Freeze. This is this is Corpus Christi area. Inland, just like north and west of Corpus Christi, it's in the 20s. But at the coast, it's in the mid-30s. You get that warm gulf to raise those temperatures. But there are freeze warnings inland. Closer to the coast, it's just wind chill advisories. You can see today... We're about upper 40s, maybe low 50s, and then again tonight it will be dropping down into the 20s. Uh, finally, to finish off my last couple of slides, so you see the Climate Prediction Center, NOAA, says 80% chance of an El Nino for the winter months, and then it's in, during the spring, maybe a 55 to 60% chance. So hopefully we can see a lot of snow in the east with the El Nino bringing wetter and snowy conditions. And to finish off, you can see the current sea surface temperature anomalies. Warmer off the east coast, which if we had a nor'easter to go up the coast, that would certainly fuel that. Again, the Gulf of Mexico is above average, and the central and east Pacific is also has above average temperatures. So that will certainly help in El Nino. And the gesture will go like this, bringing colder air into the east. Thank you for watching. I'm the Weather Dude, signing off. Till next time.